give Copenhagen Flames the idea they might be running back toward lobby. But as it is, they are going to commit to ramp. Nade will be broken open now. And this is the fake coming into play. This is what Travis's utility is for. Now his life is in trouble. Gets one, but only one. Four versus four after plant's about to come in. It's a pretty decent fake from one win on the pistol. Don't mind that one at all. But Deco is ha I'm pretty sure has been heard in the close coming position. And look at this. They're just going to absolutely triple pick Roy. Roy has no chance. Deco gets another. Building up that money for the future AWP, of course. Blurring. Take a duel against Nico Dodge, but he's the only one left now, and he'll hit the headshot. Great pissed around from one win. Them four in the third round. But as it is, I'm going to try not to smack with a four spy. And I mean, Nuke is good for four spies, of course, with these close range angles. CZ, oh, gets two from Roy. He's got two bullets left now, can finally afford a reload. Nico is there to help out as well. Flamey can only get that one kill. And the four spy is working out. Copenhagen Flames not wanting to let one win get away in the best of one, of course. Maybe that's their thinking. Maybe in the best of three, they would take the eco. But in the best of one, you have to get closer. And Nikodos is doing great work. Should get taken down by Travis. And anyway, Travis will get that one kill, but no matter. Hooksy's there to help out. Flamey hasn't got anything left as of yet, as, as of now. And actually, looking at it, I say decent enough utility for an execute, sure. But they actually only have one flash. Which is a bit of a surprise, considering the round's belly just begun. I'm checking their outside smokes, but Nico has Travis's number from outside red. And he's going to stick around as well, looking for more. You can easily multi-kill from outside red, and Nico's going in for multiple here. Gets himself three, could make it four. Deco finally stops him. And look at the position Roy's holding. It's a little bit of a whiffy spray, but he still finds Deco. And Nico's basically just won that round on his own for his team. And look at Roy. What a dirty angle. He's not worried about Silo at all. He's only worried about glowing up close and he gets that kill immediately. Nade through the smoke. Travis and Flamey can't really afford to push through this. Just going to buy their time. That grenade could be tasty as well. And yes, it chunks Flamey and Travis down again. At the moment, Copenhagen Flames are just locking one win out at every given opportunity. But Roy, he stuck around as well. That's just so hard to predict. You would have thought after that one kill outside, maybe he'd push back toward main. But he gets one more from it. For Deco on that AWP, as I mentioned. Finally now, we'll trade it. So it's going to be an interesting one now. 3v4. They need to find a way to entry. And Foster, oh, he catches Hooksy. Feet are exposed in that angle. But... Nico, unfortunately, has the angle. Maybe it's a bit, a bit of timing there. Didn't go Hooksy's way because I'm sure Nico was holding that position to keep her Hooksy's feet safe. But it's only one for one again, and they're down toward B, and they're going straight into Yabby. There's one, and he makes it two as well. Yabby with both, and Copenhagen Flames have started to have the issue. 25 seconds to go. Where did they choose to go? I think it's going to be... Oh, where is it going to be? Nico gets one kill. Though he's looking for his luck toward A and he takes the head off of Hooksy brilliantly. Where's the bomb going to go? It's going to be going toward B. Travis gets his one kill. 12 seconds. It just goes down in time. And I think that second kill is going to be enough. Nico is trying to, <laughs> trying to find glowing and he wins that duel with a Tech 9. But going for this one is going to be a bit of a weird one. I think they've got plenty of money to do so. In fact, they've got very even money, actually, across the board. Have Copenhagen Flames. 7 and 8k across these few players. And Travis, oh, he's so lucky. Listen, I'm a Travis supporter. He has chosen to name himself after me, after all. Keck W. But that was uh, a last bullet connecting there. Otherwise, Yabby could have went for a retake. As it is, they win their second round. Just about. Oh, that's an unfortunate thought. Hooksy. Why did Nikodos get his nose clip outside, though? How many... Well, how is he doing this? What's happened? What's happened while we watched Hooksy get destroyed through the edge of that smoke? Nikos just basically quickscoped two outside. One was a no-scope headshot. And... One was a quick scope. Nikodos' quick scopes are impressive, it has to be said. 
Oh, the life needs to be careful. <laughs> Almost jumped straight into the crosshair there. And look at Roy. He's flanked all the way around as well to catch the lobby lobby crunch. Second. Might alert Copenhagen Flames to the possibility that there are two players outside rather than just the one. But let's see. It's going to be a ramp play, and once again, Zyphon's here, holding a slightly different angle this time, an off angle, not an angle that holds it directly, but actually he's going to give it up immediately, and that's not too disup... Okay, I was about to say how that wasn't a bad idea, but never mind. Look at the health. No one is above 30 health. The Abbey only gets the one, he denies the bomb plant, but he can't get the follow-up, and now it's all down to Hooksy, but it's an incredibly winnable clutch. One versus two, he has a kit... One bullet bas basically on both players here would be enough. There is an op to face and Foster quick scope. Aggressive toward the lo lobby position. It's a bit of a crunch coming in and look where Yabby is as well. Surely Travis is just going to walk into the crossfire here. There's one. He even gets a second as well. Surely he does. Deco goes down. And the full take of lobby is a success. Thankfully for one win, they have managed to nab the bomb away and escorted it away from the uh, lobby position, but even though Glowing gets that one kill, he's taken so much damage. Three health now. And Flaming isn't really in a, in a position to help out right now. Has to cross, and he'll be trying to cross into Nico's AWP. There it is. And now Xiphon has a free bullet in front of him, probably, to take Glowing out. Siding toward credit card right now. There it is, and there's the shot. Pistols once again, unfortunately, for one win. That's the state their money is in, but it's not, unfor not an unfortunate start. Travis gets his kill and then again picks up the AK. Zyphon's been struggling a little bit on his ramp defense, and that's a lovely tap to take Roy as well. Travis has been one of one win's highest rated players. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's his second. He's their second highest rated player at the moment behind Deco. And he's going to get himself a 3k in this round. Maybe he does answer back, but he's not going to expect Deco coming in from the flank. And that's just Nico in a 1 versus 3, and he can't really afford to retake this one. Guns can be recovered for one win. That's going to be 9 4. That's one they wouldn't have wanted to lose. We're going for a fast A split coming in here toward Mini immediately. Travis will get his kill and glowing with the M4. Recovered from the previous round. We'll take Yabby as well. Only Nico does left on the site. And Roy though. And look at Roy. Oh, he just spins the Xiphon. Getting that kill in the meantime toward Deco. Out of nowhere. It actually goes into a 1 versus 2 for Flamey. But Flamey has been in many positions like this before. Spots the smoke trajectory of the first player and taps him down. Does he know where Roy is? Oh, the spray's actually so close. Does he know that Roy is in there as well? You'd assume... I have to assume he is because of where the bomb is situated. Flamey has had a rough start to this best of one, but if he can win a clutch, all is forgiven. Impact frags are what matters. Roy going aggressive, and he hears the smoke being thrown in. There's Flamey, and he wins the duel, but only just. You see Travis on the dual Beretta is dropped over by Glowing. He's got the utility. The one grenade and the one flashbang. No diffuse kit. So if uh, Blink and Flames get the bomb planted, it could be a tough one. Zyphon's going for a duel toward outside. It's heard by Deco. Is he willing to take the duel? He is. Oh, and that's a kill and a half. Just a drive-by. Zyphon gone already, and now the ramp play's going to come in. Flamey is here. He's going to stick around as well, and in comes the grenade as well. Does do some good damage. Flamey forced back down toward B. Do they try and pounce on him? They do. Travis is here, and so is Deco. One more for Deco. Could even get a third, and there it is. Not been faced as of yet. He wants to stay hidden for a while first before he goes for a second kill. Spots the arm, though, of Roy. And Deco gets away with it. At least now they know the information of where the AWP is, and for that reason, maybe they'll go for an execute elsewhere quickly. Travis does some damage through the smoke. It reveals his position. Copenhagen Flames have plenty of time to work with, though. Still a 4v4. They need to rush in with 50 seconds to go. Still can make it... Give it 30 seconds to make a call. Travis peeking on the angle and deals with the Abbey. Deals with Abbey Yabby beautifully as well. Once again, Travis gets an important kill on the gun round. 
Ultimate coming in towards Bane. Does he pick ahead of it? He does, and he gets all three. What a game Travis is having so far. That's the reason why he's the highest rated rifler on this team right now. Can even get the last. Oh, Travis. My favourite Copenhagen Flames are out, you know, at about 55-45, purely because of their results against bigger teams. And then comes the A play. We know they're very successful with these A plays. I think gets one, and Yabby finds Travis in the cubby. Deco isolated toward heaven. Can he get his flick up? He can. Oh, it's a headshot to boot as well from Deco. Covers it into a 3v3. And that Molotov. Oh, Siphon's lucky. That smoke will just bloom toward main and will lock glowing out, but that Molotov denies the bomb plant for now. Do Copenhagen Flame just leave the situation here? They could if they want to. That smoke would even allow them to dive down toward the vents if they actually gave the idea. But they're going to commit to the A-site plant. They have that site. They're not going to overcomplicate it. But of course, everyone for one win is here. And it's a tough one to hold. Flaming with the MP9. At this advantage, but he'll be sent in first. What Jabby will take him out. And there's Zyphon peeking up nicely. It's all down to Deco, but he can only get one. It's a nice second headshot. Apex are up 5-2 to two on Eternal Fire at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Foster gets that kill toward Yabby, but it's actually... Yabby is behind the hut, not inside the hut. He's 15 HP from all those grenades, so in the end it's the Famas Warbang that takes him out. But look at this, four players toward outside. Glowing has an off angle, but it's going to be hard cleared. Gets one. Oh, he gets two. That's more than enough. That should be enough to seal the round. Travis gets one. Travis gets both. He's just tapping away for fun, is Travis, in this game. 28 to 12. In the early stages of this round, 13 to 10 Copenhagen Flames, three away from the semi finals again. We saw them fall to Esports Club Kiev in the first attempt. I casted that one, and that was a, actually quite a, a low key banger, that best of three. Esports Club Kiev having a fairy tale run, beating teams like Big, Skade, and then Copenhagen Flames to make it through to the close qualifier. Look at Roy, though. He's about to catch, glowing in the back, and it's a free kill. Almost actually gets taken down, but he was the player that was half HP anyway, so he does well, and he just rips the head off of Travis as well. What a second kill that is. Flamey can't even get one kill toward Ramp. I think he only had the SMG, so it's fair enough. And Hooks, he's going to rip Deco's head off as well. Easy for Copenhagen Flames. Foster gets the last one in this bracket, of course. Just two spots left in the close qualifier, in the EU close qualifier, for IEM Dallas. Could this be the final round? Travis on top of the A-site solo. Yabby taking a lot of damage already, and he could be absolutely blindsided. And in the end, <laughs> Nikodos takes his teammate out with a Molotov. That's unfortunate. Travis is stuck towards CT vent, though, and Zyphon takes him out and hooks. He gets another as well. The rotation's coming in quick from Flamey. One versus two now for Flamey. Gets one, gets the second, just in the nick of time. The moment is toward outside, and look how far Roy's gotten again. So much progress toward this position, and Nico is in garage as well. What can you do about this, man? There's Roy's kill again, and then Nico will catch Deco. Both players are there, but they're just dealing with everyone. Once again, one winner exposed in the outside garage area. It's too much to handle. And that's something to look back in the back it back on, sorry. In the demo later, you'd imagine. Because you just can't let outside be taken like it was there. So easily as well. Such a huge amount of map control. And Copenhagen Flames are about to seal the game. It's all down to Flamey. One versus two to win the last round. But he can't complete a one versus five. And Copenhagen...